Hi guys, I have a box opening today. We don't have them as often as we used to, so it's kind of fun to have one today. Um, so here she is, I'll just get right into her. And we might have some helpers show up. They keep thinking it's really cool to have the blanket on the floor and to come running across it, so. I got this baby yesterday afternoon and as I've said before in other videos my house is usually has one or more other people in it but I'm finding myself having a couple hours this afternoon to myself so she came at the most perfect time and here's a card from her artist all the things oh fun she's packed like little things what a cute little fun box opening let's just see what the card says it says i just want to thank you so much for supporting my artwork i hope magnolia brings you so much joy she was very she may very well be my new favorite sculpt I hope you fall in love when you see her. Thank you again so much. And then Colleen. Oh no. So this is her and um, she is the Magnolia sculpt, which I had never seen before until I saw this baby and fell instantly in love with it. So we'll just go through the little things. Here's a cute little headband holding these together. I love this mustard color, mustard yellow and some little booty socks, I love those. She's gonna need socks and yellow mittens. These are fun, I have no plain yellow mittens. And some little pants. I'm not, I wasn't sure what size she is. They say newborn, so fun color. And then, the mess. And we got some little diapers, a magnetic pacifier. I'm, I'm loving that. Some of my dolls, I've been trying to get them out and set at least one out a day just to kind of see, to spend time with. And so many of my dolls don't have pacifiers or they used to have pacifiers. And when you try and put a pacifier on their mouth, it just kind of has moved or it falls down. So it's fun that she has a pacifier because I wasn't sure about that. And some diapers with Winnie the Pooh on them. Two. Oh, look how cute. I don't even really have a lot of new diapers because maybe I just haven't been getting a lot of box openings. Some pink leggings. And a cute onesie undershirt. And I um, actually did a little haul for this baby. And I looked at undershirts and I thought I'll buy one later, just a plain white undershirt if I need one. And she came with one, so that's fun. And these cute, this cute sleeper. This is the one she was in her picture. And I really like this sleeper. It's got like woodland animals, foxes and deers and bunnies and little acorns and like um, acorn. Why can't I think of the leaf? <laughs> Little like berries. So that's cute. This is a sleeper baby. Oh, and I liked this, that it had um, different colored hands. Or not different colored, but the accent color was over the hands. And this is her COA. Um, I already told you she's Magnolia Sculpt, so she's 20 inches, 5 pounds. Kit name is Magnolia, sculpted by Bonnie Sieben and created by A-List Babies, C. Walter. And I got her off of Reborns.com, my favorite shopping site. Good <laughs> job, buddy. Okay, so let's get baby out. So here she is, and I can't go through the normal 
she's wrapped up so sweet. I like this blanket. And I can't really go through the normal looking at hands and feet and toes because I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> that sounds dumb, but I got a cuddle baby. And I am not a cuddle baby person, but I fell in love with this baby and thought I'm going to be able to overlook it just because look how cute she is. The only other cuddle baby I have right now, when I first started collecting Reborns, I got a cuddle, couple cuddle babies, but that was like a lot of years ago and they were just different than they are now. And then I have one cuddle baby, but that's because I had a head given to me and I put it on a cuddle body. So I weighted it and stuff and she's fine, but it's fun to have them weighted by someone else. And she has a lot of weight right here in the bottom of her feet. I like that. The same with her arms from the like elbow down. And she's got the little mitten, mitten cuddle hand. All right, let's look at her face. So that's what we're all here for. She's wrapped up really well. I like this. Well, that's weird. It's like perfectly made just for her head. I wonder if that's a thing now. And she's got a little hat on. And here she is. Oh, sorry. Here she is. Little Magnolia baby. Oh, she's so cute. And I could tell by the pictures that she had like a textured skin and that I was really excited about that. She's got her little Saran hat. Run wrap hairnet on. Let's wipe up, take it off carefully. Oh, she's got cute hair. Look at the little swirl. Hi. And she's very newborn. That's something I've been looking for lately was a newborn looking baby. I just wanted a newborn looking baby to hold. Oh, she's sweet. Isn't she cute? This is her hair. This is her little face. And she's a fun baby, I think, because it's going to be fun to like be able to hold her and kind of drape her. What size is this? This is a newborn. I know. I just like how how she looks like. She's just like floppy and I guess that's the love of cuddle babies is that they're floppy and posable she put her little passy so I was really excited and she has good modeling I can see her motley I just I saw her on reborns and I was just kind of browsing and I've been thinking I want a, a newborn and I was looking and I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, that's her. And I, I, I love this baby. And I clicked on it. And I was like, oh no, she's a cuddle baby. And I thought, well, I'm going to pass on that. Because I don't really think I want a cuddle baby. And I kept looking. And um, I kept thinking about her. And the next day, I was even thinking about her. So I went and looked at her again. And I thought, you know what? I might be able to pass up the whole body for this baby. Plus, in the description of her, it said head and body bought from, I think, McPherson's. And that's part of my thing with cuddle babies is I feel like they're, like, separated from their bodies. And just, just you just get their head and their body is, like, sitting somewhere else and it belongs to them. And that's another thing I struggle with with cuddle babies. But when she said head and body, and I had looked on some website, I can't remember, and I saw that you can now just buy heads with a cuddle body. And so she felt like to me, and it may not even be true, but she felt like to me that this was her body because she didn't come with a body and have it taken away from her. She was a head and a cuddle body bought together. I know that sounds really dumb, but that was another thing to me, another level of 
thinking, I can love this little cuddle baby because this is her body. She wasn't taken away from her body. <laughs> so, anyway, I haven't thought of a name for her or anything. I just kind of, I kind of like Magnolia, but I would end up calling her like Maggie or something. So, I don't know. We'll see. I also bought some clothes for her. I'll just do the little haul right now. Um, I got zero to three months and I just wanted to pick up some things that I knew would cover her whole body. And even if they're kind of big right now and I just got them at Target. So I got these leggings and I got them mainly because I liked this. <laughs> and I feel like a cuddle baby is going to be fun and comfy to hold in kind of clothes that not aren't huge but are a little baggy on them so that they just feel like like comfy in their little baggy clothes <laughs> so i thought zero to three months was a good bet for her like this is newborn and it fits just great she has a great cuddle body um the shape of it and everything is really good and i i, I like this sleeper but it's kind of showing up here because it's kind of tight. And so I tend to kind of want to buy things a little bigger so that I can cover all of the cloth body up. And if you have a cuddle body, you have cuddle baby, you have a lot of cuddle or cloth body to cover up. So anyway, I just bought these onesies. I made sure that they had long sleeves. Um, they don't have fold over hands, but we have mittens and we have new yellow mittens which would match all of these and they're just the basic colors and they match the leggings that I got zero to three months I like the polka dot one and then I bought these sleepers and they're also zero to three and they could be a little big right now but once you wash them they'll fit her great and I liked these the same way, reason I liked um, her other sleeper that I saw in the pictures because the little hand part is a different color that folds over. So they're just like mustardy beige and pink, like a rose pink and a rusty brown and then that rusty brownish color and the mustard yellow. So that's my little haul for my new little baby. And this is my new little baby. I love that she has a passy. And I love this little mouth, this little newborn mouth. I love her painting. She has good texture. I love her hair. It's like newborn thin. Her little rooted eyelashes. I love this little mouth. And you can see her gums up inside. She's just adorable. I'm really excited to welcome her to the nursery. I want to hold her. <laughs> I love the, this hanging this of her. So yeah, officially kind of a first cuddle baby for me in a long time, besides the one that I put together. But welcome little Magnolia. I hope you're all doing well and hopefully we will see you again soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.